Russell Martin and Paul Konerko are making the debut in this game. Like I said, if I am able to face a lefty, I am going to be playing Russell Martin. And if I was even going to be facing a righty, I didn't even care. He was going to be in the lineup too. But yeah, man, taking a look at his stats, even though I already discussed these, the only thing that's saving this uh, this card, if you ask me, is the vision. Everything else is not too bad, man. Like, you can even deal with that 60-something contact against righties, maybe, just because his vision isn't too bad. Like, that's that's pretty solid vision, man. 77 isn't the best, obviously, but it's not, you know, below 50 or something like that where it's suspect. So, yeah, man, Martin is making the debut in this game, and so is Paul Konerko, and I was facing a lefty. You can't even make this stuff up, man. I was saying, I pray I get a lefty in Russell Martin's debut game, and I did. Paul Konerko actually used him as a pinch hitter in a previous game, and it was just a uh, fly out or something like that. So I was looking to do something from him, too. He has some pretty solid stats versus lefties. Uh, I think his, his power is like 92 or something like that. So, yeah, man, at Fenway... With any righties at Fenway, I am swinging for the damn fences, especially against Cliff Lee, man. I was very happy I was facing Cliff Lee because this can be BP sometimes. Paul Konerko, he wants blood. He's running again. Oh, high, deep. That is a moonshot, folks. A long home run. That is exactly what you want to do in the debut game. There is nothing else you could do to make more of an impact than hit a towering home run. Especially at Fenway, man. That was long gone. So, uh, Konerko able to get on the board in his first at-bat. Russell Martin's actually able to make some solid contact, too, in his first at-bat. So, getting some solid at-bats for the two players making the debut. And I am pretty sure, too, that this guy had the 99 A-Rod from the Mariners because he did have 88 speed and he was a diamond. So that can only mean one thing, can it? Which probably isn't even going to be that rare at this point in the game to see the 99 A-Rod from the Mariners since he does have that mission out. So either this guy was grinding those missions like I've never seen or he just he just bought A-Rod off the market because I think he's going for like 200000 at this point. So I'm not even sure you can sell the 99 A-Rod when you get him from those missions, which kind of sucks because every... Well, I guess not really because if you were able to sell him, then he would probably be going for very cheap at this point in time. But still, uh, a lot of people are probably going to have the 99 A-Rod. And I, I don't even know if I'm going to do that, to be honest. Because like I said, everybody's probably going to have him. And the biggest reason why I may not do that is because I had, I had both the other 99 A-Rods, man, from the Rangers and now from the Yankees. I was not able to and currently am not able to get jack shit going. With those two cards, man. I got rid of the Rangers A-Rod, obviously. But ever since I picked up the 2007 A-Rod, I have yet to do anything either. Like, honest to God, I think I have like three home runs with him. And he's played a good amount of games. I think I'm batting below 250 with him. Probably way less than that. So it has been a struggle with Alex Rodriguez, any of his cards in this game. So I don't even know, man. I just, that would be a huge buzzkill to grind all those missions and stuff like that and then just pick up this 99 A-Rod and just do the same I've been doing with these other two Rodriguez cards. So I have no idea. I mean, it may take a good amount of time to do those missions, I think, because you have to get doubles, triples. I, didn't, I don't really know exactly what you have to do for every single one, like doubles, triples. I think you have to get fielding assists, too. You probably have to get home runs as well. There's a lot. All I, all I know is there's a good amount of missions you have to do. So I have no idea. Even if you were grinding with a friend or somebody like that, it would probably take a good amount of time to do that. But, yeah, I have no idea, dude. He's probably going to be seen a lot, and I just don't know what's going to happen. I may just struggle with him badly. But I'm getting more... I'm getting more going on the board, man. Offensively, the squad has just been... I, I always say the squad's been on fire. Lately, I've been saying the squad's been on fire. It's been, it's been more than that. It has been a little bit sketchy. There's been the steroids have been passed around in the dugout, is all I'm saying. In the dugout, in the clubhouse, steroids have been passed around like, like God knows what. I was going to make a filthy joke, but I should not say that. But still, Konerko is able to get another base hit on the board. So he is having a very solid debut game. Two for two so far. And then I was talking about two in the uh, Michael Brantley debut game. That Ted Williams has been heating up. This guy is just a hitting machine at this point in time. That is lefty on lefty murder right there. 
a rocket right up the middle. And then speaking of rockets right up the middle, Russell Martin getting in on the hitting action. So the squad is hungry for those base hits. So one hit can put this game away possibly. I am not able to cash in anybody. Aunt man, like clutch hitting. It's been it's been up and down for sure lately, but I don't even know why. He was able to get out of that inning without me getting any more damage. And this guy decided to quit apparently. So people are leaving games every two seconds, it seems, these days. So, you know, I'm just not going to be leaving you guys with just a short little shitty video like that. I'm going to be bringing another game since Russell Martin. He I think he got three at-bats in that game. He was, or wait, was it two? Yeah, it was only two, I'm pretty sure. He did make solid contact in both at-bats too. So I was looking to get some more going with Russell Martin in this game. Was facing a righty in Steven Strasburg, I believe he had, he had on the mound. So I was still playing Russell Martin in this game. And Brantley is also in the lineup too, like which was obvious as everybody's already seen because I already did uh, the debut game for uh, Brantley and, well, now Russell Martin too. So both these new additions are doing pretty solid so far, man. Like Brantley was able to get a base hit to begin this game. And then fucking Ted Williams again. I, I wasn't really sure who that was, but when it is a base hit in the gap, just look no further than Ted Williams because this motherfucker is just out here getting base hits like it's nobody's business, dude. It has been too crazy how Ted Williams has been going off lately. Russell Martin's first at bat, he is just getting under one, so that is just a weak fly out to left field. So I'm not getting anything in Russell Martin's first at bat of this game. But still, I was able to get a solid performance from Martin and everybody on the squad in the previous game that the dude left. But Konerko was not back in the lineup in this game. I was actually thinking about doing that. But then I would have had a shitload of righty bats in the lineup, which, like I've been saying lately, man, I don't even care. I would rather use righties against the righty pitchers these days sometimes. Like, yeah, certain players, like... I've been struggling a little bit with Grady lately, I'm not even going to lie, but the only lefties I've been doing very well with at the plate, I mean, I've been doing just the first two games I played with Michael Brantley, I've been making pretty solid contact with Ted Williams, I've been doing uh, amazing with lately, but that is pretty much it, and everybody else has been suspect, to say the least, so yeah, I mean, I've been doing, I've been making uh, some solid contact with guys like Altuve and stuff like that, even Ian Kinsler, I may not have the best batting average with Ian Kinsler but he has been doing pretty decent at the plate just not getting rewarded but I put Pablo at third base in this game since I did have Russell Martin in I mean it may have been this may have been the jinx to put somebody else in other than the 95 Braun because ever since I picked up the 95 Braun he has been in the lineup so this is the first game he is not in and then what do you know the first ground ball or just the first action Sandoval is able to get he is booting it and I guarantee Braun would have came up with that play, man. That he would have came up with that easily. Even though with that 50 fielding, he has been he has been a gold glover over there at third base so far. But this guy is making a crucial mistake. I don't need to say it again. All I know is everybody should know the rules by now. You can't do it. You cannot do it. This guy tries to do it. And it is getting by him. Altuve with that good speed is able to get the inside the park home run. Even though it was an error. So... Uh, Brantley is back up in his third at-bat of this game. I mean, after the first two innings, there wasn't that much going on in the third, fourth, and fifth innings. So that's kind of why I skipped over those innings. Not much happened at all in those three innings. So Michael Brantley just uh, lines out to left field right there to end that inning. So now in the sixth. Grady is leading off, and like I said, I've been struggling with, a little, with him a little bit lately. So something needs to be done. I was able to get a home run on the board with Grady in the... I think two games ago but still I'm looking to just just do what I was doing when Grady first made the debut because that was just insanity he's able to get a base hit right there to left field so now I got somebody on with nobody out and this guy man you be lobbing in these hanging curveballs I'm gonna make you pay man I was just praying I was daring this guy to, to lob another hanging curveball right over the middle of the plate man but I'm getting something down in the strike zone, and Kendry's Morales is able to come up with the base hit right there, so Grady advances to third base, so now I am threatening with Grady on third base and Morales on first. So here is the base hit machine and just the threat at the plate the past couple games. Ted Williams, I was talking shit about you so damn much the past couple weeks. I apologize for every word because that should have been gone. 
But that is just to the warning track, and I'm able to score Grady from third base. So we are taking the lead in this game. 3-2 now in the sixth inning. Martin is back up looking to get something something go with Russell Martin in this game. But I am just hitting a weak chopper in front of home plate. He gets the force out of second base. So I'm able to make it in the first with Russell Martin. So Sandoval is 0 for 2 in this game. I've been heating up with heating up with him a little bit lately. He is sending one to the opposite opposite field. If I could speak correctly, he is hitting one to the opposite field. I've been hitting a lot of on this game too. I'm pretty sure I was hitting a lot of balls to the opposite field, just getting some base hits, man. Taking all those uh, away pitches to the opposite field. That's what you gotta do. And then that one is going off the wall, so I'm able to cash in Martin from first base. So now I'm taking the 4-2 lead going into the bottom of the sixth. So, oh, sweet Jesus, man. What do you even have to do to keep, to keep motherfuckers from doing this? What do you even have to do, man? Like, that's my, that's, I guess, can you even blame anybody anymore if you don't play bunt defense? Like, some people probably think I'm a fucking lunatic because... Everybody, if I remember, everybody who comes to the plate, I am putting in bunt defense. And some people are probably like, why the fuck is this guy playing bunt defense on this guy? Because anybody, anybody can step up to the plate with any any player. And they will lay down a bunt, dude. He's able to get a base hit with Carlos Gonzalez, but he's not able to cash him in, thank God. Because that would have been such a piss off, man. Such a buzz, because I would have been steaming. That's the only thing that is very annoying other than Ichiro and Corey Seager people laying down bunts and then they're able to capitalize on that shit but Brantley already with a base hit in this game is able to get his second base hit so Brantley he's been swinging a very hot bat in his first couple games on the squad so Matt Kemp he is up looking to get a base hit on the board and cash in that run from second base but that is just a force over right there not really sure what this game was sketchy at times with the connection so I'm not even sure what was going on right there to be honest but he walks Morales I mean that may have been a questionable call I mean obviously he wanted to get to the lefty but do you want to get to the lefty in Ted Williams because it doesn't even matter if it's a lefty Ted Williams can do damage against anybody especially the way he's been swinging the bat lately so with one swing of the bat this game can be all all needs to be said the fat lady will be singing oh high deep that is a moonshot folks a long home run all i ask the only thing i ask is for people to stay in games dude that is another rage quit two in a row so Russell Martin's head, that's, that just sums up this video, what Russell Martin's head is fucking doing.